Hi guys, I'm Katya, all the way back from the Ukrainian village. Today I'll show you Chernivtsi. Bye bye dog! As soon as we crossed the bridge from Plenitsky region to Chernivtsi region, the road became perfect. Why is that? Because Chernivtsi is very different from any other Ukrainian city, and this is why. In 1774, this city was occupied by Russia as a result of Russian-Turkish war and became a part of Austria-Hungarian Empire which was a Russia's ally. For 144 years, this city was developing under Austrian influence, and in Ukraine it's also known as Little Vienna. Let's move in first. We rented an apartment in an old Romanian house for a thousand Ukrainian hryvna, which is around 30 euro. Look at this beautiful ceiling. Take you on a walk around Chernivtsi. I'll show you the coolest places of the city where Mila Kunis was born and the most beautiful university in the world is located. Also, I'll show you the best place to eat in Chernivtsi. Um, you see right in front of the university, Rita Steinberg, the best place they say to eat. They catered traditional Jewish and Bukovina region dishes. We had some hummus, some grilled cabbage and fish cakes, and this one is grilled chicken and potato and zucchini. And of course, some dessert! Now that we are full and happy, let's go to the Chernivtsi University, UNESCO Cultural Heritage. This one. Except for it's not really a university, but a residence of Bukovinian and Dalmatian metropolitans. It was built in 1882 by Joseph Lavka, a Czech architect who studied in Vienna. He built three factories to make bricks and roof tiles especially for this building, and the building materials included eggs, milk and animal bones. This university is built on animal bones. And these little rocks are a modern air conditioner. They allow the building to cool down and release the heat. Chernivtsi University was built as Metropolitan's palace. At World War I, Chernivtsi was occupied by Soviet Union and the Metropolitan went to the west. This building was used as a museum, then as a warehouse, and in 1956 it was given to the university. The red hall everything is authentic. The fire didn't touch it. For example, these lights that were installed in 1912 when the building was electrified and the tiles. There is also a beautiful church on campus, the leftover of Metropolitan's Palace. It is preserved as it used to be years ago. The pretty pretty park behind the Metropolitan's Palace aka the building of Chernivtsi University is the best place to have a picnic on a hot summer day. Let's continue our journey around beautiful Chernivtsi, across the city hall and the center of the city. This old drugstore on Main Street with statues of God of Medicine and Health has been functioning for over 100 years. Continue walking along the Main Street across this church and you will see the ship house. The legend says two brothers built it because they wanted to become captains, but they never could sail the sea. Since they didn't get married, they built a house in the shape of the ship for themselves. Let's go on to Panska Street, now known as Kobelanska Walking Street. It has always been a walking street here in Chernivtsi since it was founded in 1786. It starts at the central square next to the city hall. Can you imagine those times there was no coffee shops whatsoever? Well, this was the first coffee shop in Chernivtsi at Three Crowns Hotel. Remember I told you Chernivtsi is a unique city with a rich history? Well, just wandering around the walking street we found this beautiful Austrian house and walked into its yard. They say building houses Austrians maintained high quality standards. They would put cork inside their walls to keep warm in winter. Many houses here in Chernivtsi are very old. In Chernivtsi Walking Street, Kobelanska Street, you can find restaurants, coffee shops, shops, bookstores, and even a tennis club. You simply enter at the library sign, walk past the library, and go into this beautiful oasis in the middle of the hot summer street, where you can find a restaurant, a tennis court, and even a swimming pool. Continue on Holovna or Main Street to find the Holy Spirit Cathedral. 
which dates back to 1864. During the Soviet times, it was used as a warehouse and an exhibition hall, but went back to being a cathedral. Now we are walking on Holovna Street, the main street of Chernivtsi, and I'm taking you to one of the cheapest leftovers of the Soviet Union, a sandwich bar called Malva, and it's been recommended by my friend, who is very cool and a hipster, originally from Chernivtsi. This Malva bar. Let's go. Destination is on the left. Why is this place so special? Well, on the menu they have a choice of around 20 to 30 kinds of drinks and only one kind of sandwich that everyone comes here to get. Simply bread with some cheese and sausage on it. I just had to show you this tattoo studio with this very old Soviet car. It's called Volga. It's pink and my dad owns one like this from 1965. It's really cool, no? And last but not least, a place which blew my mind, Chernivtsi Natural History Museum. This is a skeleton of a blue whale, which used to weigh 100 ton and was 27 meters long. Look at this whale's eye. And this, you will not believe it, is this whale's joint. This whale was killed on a ship that used to kill 700 to 2,000 whales per season. And now blue whales are endangered species. They are the biggest animals in the world, and even they could not protect themselves from human influence. You can find an elephant skull in this museum, Kanchatka crab, different butterflies, spiders, and so, so many species of animals I have never ever seen before. If you want to visit, call and sign up in advance and better have a Ukrainian with you. Thank you for taking this walk around Chernitsi with me. Please share your favorite Chernitsi places in comments below. It was Katya, a Ukrainian, all the way back from the Ukrainian village. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and... Remember, only you decide how bright you shine.